Good morning. So, welcome back to another video. Now, today is training day, so hopefully, I get a little bit of film clips around training today, which will be nice. Um, preparation for our Hobart game tomorrow, which is in Lawn System. So, hopefully, that goes ahead with the weather all being good. Um, and yeah, today should be a good day. You can tell by my voice, I have just woken up. Um, so, it is currently. 8.30 so I'll go downstairs, have breakfast, um, and then we've got a team meeting at night, so yeah, good start to the day. <laughs> Off the training we go. Hopefully it should be a good day. Hopefully the rain stays away. <laughs> I don't get that hot air thing. Hi, Jim. <laughs> so it's tomorrow, afternoon. tomorrow afternoon, is it? Guys, Amanda J. Wellington here doing a social media takeover today uh, at the Strikers training at the moment. So keep watching and keep up to date with the Strikers. Here we have our physio Jimbo and Darcy Brown. What are you doing today? I'm just chilling. <laughs> Not doing anything in the nets today? No, Jim's the only one that wants to talk to me. <laughs> All right, here we have Talia McGrath, aka Poss, about to head into the nets. Are you going to be working on anything? Um, just a pre-game day little feel good hit today, I reckon. Sounds good.
Talia, how are you finding the coaches so far? This is not a feel good net. <laughs> We're feeling good. Now, what are you going to bowl now? Come on, tell me. Katie Mack, how was your hit? So That's good. Feeling good for tomorrow? Yeah, feeling really good. I can smash the balls. Oops, sorry. Oh. training oh good so training was actually in interesting um i had to do a media takeover which was pretty cool um so wbl well, i basically did some film clips and then they put it on their story on their instagram um so i had a bowl well sorry had a field had a bowl and then i did that the majority of the time uh, but now back at the uh, hotel gonna have a quick shower get ready um because me and Koidi are gonna go for a walk find an actual tattoo store um and they get some tattoos but uh we'll wait and see <laughs> hotel now uh, me and Koidi went for a walk did a little bit of shopping uh, but walked around uh, with our mask on and all of that um, just yeah precautionary um, did a little bit of shopping she got some shoes I got some Pokemon stuff of course um, <laughs> but yeah other than that happy with my tattoo I'll show you right now okay this is the little tattoo I got so a little snake on my finger um, yeah it's cute isn't it um, I've always wanted a snake on my finger um, and I plan to get my fingers done a little bit more um, and especially to get the same writing, style of writing on this hand on my um, ring finger all the way down so um, yeah just OCD wise um, but hopefully it looks the same but yeah I'll get the writing, I'll get uh, different symbols and stuff like that on my fingers so yeah pretty happy with the tattoo, looks good, I'm happy so yeah. And another reason why I wanted a snake was because um, in Japan, in Japanese, uh, the, the um, definition of a snake tattoo is protection of bad luck. So that's one reason why I got it um, as well because, yeah, I feel like in my lifetime I've had that much bad luck and, um, yeah, I don't want to, you know, get a tattoo just because of that. But um, that's sort of half the meaning why I wanted a snake as well so that's for your information um but no I'm, I'm really happy with it um Cordy, Cordy got um a name of um I think it was a niece or something like that 
done on her arm, um, looks really nice. But no, we've had a good day. It was actually really cheap and oh my god, the place we went to was definitely an experience. But yeah, I wouldn't change it for a bit, but uh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> Okay, so back at the hotel now. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you what I actually picked up from Toy World and the other stores. Um, just because I don't know if we actually have these products in LA yet, so I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna flip the camera over and show you guys because I haven't shown you yet. So here we go. So the first, so the first store I went to was Toy World. Um, managed to find these. I have this station. Um, the union box uh, which um, comes with the four um, doggo card pieces to make Zation itself um, and then you get I think it's four packs of cards and one big um, giant card so I got Zation, I got Greninja and I also got a Mewtwo one so I wasn't too sure if these were available in Adelaide yet or if they are even available in Adelaide so I thought I'd just grab them anyway just in case because if I got to Adelaide and they didn't have them I knew I would regret it. Then I went to EB Games and managed to find the 25th anniversary um, medal figures. Um, so I got Bulbasaur, got Squirtle, and I got Charmander, so yeah, that's my little haul for today. Um, I had plenty of plenty of other things, as you can tell by the video. Um, I didn't take a video in EV Games just because there was too many kids in there, and I didn't really want to film kids. Um, but no, I thought I'd grab these, and now I'm gonna have to try and put them in my suitcase and make sure they don't get damaged on the way home to Adelaide. So. Yeah, picked up these, really awesome and really happy. I think overall today has been a really good day. Um, been really busy uh, with training and shopping and going to get a tattoo and then going for a walk and getting uh, cold rock. Now it's time to pack my plane gear for tomorrow because we have the early game tomorrow at quarter past 10 in the morning against Hurricanes. Uh, hopefully it will be a good match. Um, yeah, I should probably get everything ready. It's around 8.30 at the moment. I should probably go to bed soon, um, just because we are leaving here at 8.30 in the morning. So early wake up, early leave, early game. Um, I think this is gonna be a big game for us. I think if we can come away with three wins in Hobart, um, that'll be fantastic. Um, but yeah, we know Hurricanes are coming off a win. Uh, Priestley's coming off 100. Uh, Molly Strano is coming off some good form, um, but then again, some of our girls are coming off some really good form. Um, I feel like we haven't played the perfect game yet, so fingers across that's coming. But other than that, it should be good. Good game. Hopefully we get a little decent crowd, I think. Um, you never know, really. Tune in, guys, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. So good night and take care.